Today's lesson is over percent and benchmark percentic find percent of whole using benchmark. So let's look at our number routine. It says 140% is equivalent to 1 and 2 fifth or 1 and 4 tenth. Is that true? Well, let's see. So let me highlight 100%. 100%. Hundred forty percent. By highlighting one hundred forty percent, I notice it is one and forty hundredths, or one hundred forty percent. And one hundred forty percent means one hundred forty per a hundred. A hundred goes into one hundred forty one time, so it's one and forty hundredths. And that's why one four tenths and one and forty hundredths is the same. And I guess I can simplify one and forty hundredths to 1 and 4 tenths and 1 and 2 fifths. And yes, so it is, they're all equivalent. So as a reminder, the Houston Texans are sponsoring this classroom. The Houston Texans home game record in 2015 was five wins and three losses. What percent of their home games did they win? So they won five games out of a total of how many games? Eight games. So what is their percent of winning? So how do you turn an eight to a hundred? How many eights go into a hundred? Well, let's find out. Goes in one time. Bring down the zero. Eight goes in 22 times. Four. Annex a decimal zero. Eight goes in 45 times. So it, the scale factor is times 12.5. Five groups of 12.5 is 62.5. And what is the percent of anything? anything per 100? So their percent of win is 62.5%. That's how many, well, that's the percentage that they won. So I mean, they must have lost 37.5% that season. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> All right, so here is a movie from the Martian. So let's see if you hear it. Oh no. So his name is astronaut Lewis. Is it astronaut? No, astronaut Mark. As you could tell, he had an accident and there was a breach in his oxygen mask. And so the oxygen level dropped to 10% and then it dropped down to 5%. Um, that's important to know this drop. So astronaut Mark was carrying 80 pounds of oxygen. Um, due to the accident, his tank only held 10% oxygen. How many pounds of oxygen was Mark carrying? And then later on, it said, he, what is 5% of 80 pounds of oxygen? So what we're going to be learning today is something called percent of whole. If you're given a number, and I ask you to find a percent of it, like you're at a restaurant, it costs $50 to fill. You want to leave 20% to your waitress. What percent, how much dollar amount would you leave behind? You're at a store. A shirt costs uh, $40, and there's a sign that says, take an additional 15% off. Instead of walking to the cashier and asking her, can you do it ma mentally or mathematically and find a dollar amount that you're going to save? Well, we're learning that today. So this, this entire percent bar represents 100%. If we divide this bar into 10 equal section, what percent will go in that in each section? Well, let's divide this into 10 equal section. Let's see. That's 5, 1, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10. So if this whole thing is 
I believe each section will be 10%. Label your percent bar to show 10% at each section. So 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. Ten percent, ten percent, ten percent, and ten percent. If the entire bar represents eighty pounds of oxygen, how many pounds of oxygen for every ten percent? So this entire bar has eighty pounds of oxygen. I need to divide them into ten equal sections. That means there must be eight pounds of oxygen in each section. And to check your work, 8 pounds times 10 section is 80 pounds. So now, so 10% is the same as saying 8 pounds of oxygen. 20% is the same as saying 16 pounds of oxygen. So let's see, what is 10% of 80 pounds? So when the video minuet showed he only had 10% oxygen, he only had 8 pounds of oxygen. What is 40% of 80 pounds 10 20 30 40 10 10 10 10 four groups of eight pounds 32 pounds of oxygen astronaut mark was carrying 80 pounds of oxygen due to the accident his tank only held five percent how many pounds is that let's see five percent well let's i'm gonna use my highlight here and show you what five percent means to me well this is 10%, so 5% will be half of this bar. So half of 8 pounds will be 4 pounds of oxygen. So what is 65% of 80 pounds? Let's see, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Then 65% would be right here, half of it. Let me get my highlighter. So it's 10, 10, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65%. So it's six groups of eight pounds, which is 48. Half of it plus four, 52 pounds of oxygen. So here's another one. This entire bar represents 100%. If we divide this bar into 10 equal section, what percent will go in each section? Again, each section will be represented by 10%. So let's label that 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. Label your percent bar to show 10% in each section. Done. If the entire bar represents $12.50, what dollar amount for every 10%? So we have 1250, we're dividing it into 10 equal section, 10 going to 12 one time, bring down the five, 10 goes to 25 two times, five, bring down the zero, 10 going to 55 times. So each section would be a dollar 25. So every 10%, you're saying a dollar 25. What is 10% of $12.50? $1.25. With this, we can ask many different real world questions from this. Paul tipped his weight. <laughs> his waiter, not water, 20% on a restaurant bill of $12.50. How much did he tip? Well, 20%, 10%, 10%. So it's two groups of $1.25 which would be 250. That is how some, that's how your parents are able to do it. That's how I, your parents, adults, can find 10%, 20% mentally with their head. Because if you can find 10% of a number by breaking it into 10 equals section, you can double it, triple it, until you can figure out the percent you need. Mona bought a shirt for 1250. And she saved 70%. How much money did she save? Well, we know that each 10% represents $1.25. So if she saved 60%, that means she will save six groups of $1.25.
And what is six groups of $1.25? Oh, this is so messy. 30 carried 3, 12 plus 3 is 15 carried 1, 7. Move the decimal two places over because this is the hundredth place. She will say $7.50. The entire bar represents 100%. If the entire bar represents $120, the original price of a cell phone, the cell phone is on sale for 25% off. Use the percent bar to help you determine how much you save. There are two ways to solve this. Would you like to see the two ways? You may break this up into 10 sections, and each section will be 10%. And you break $120 into 10 sections. That'll be $12 each section, so 12 12, so each 10% will be $12, another 10% will be $12, $24, then half of it will be $6, so it'll be $30. Here's another way you may like, well, it's 25% off. If this is a bar, could I break this into fourths? So each section would be 25% instead. So if I have $120 and I break it into four equal sections, that means every 25% is $30. So the savings is $30. So that's how I decided to do it. Because I know 25% of $120, that's, that's finding a fourth of $120, which is $30. This entire bar represents 100%. If the entire bar represents $120, again, the original price of a cell phone, the cell phone is on sale for 66 and two-third percent off. Use the percent bar to help you determine how much you save. So if this whole thing is represents 100%, how many sections should I break this off into? Half, that would be 50, 50. That doesn't make sense. Thirds, that would be 33, 33, 30. Three and one third, because remember, thirty-three plus thirty-three plus thirty-eight is ninety-nine. What are you going to do with the last percent? You have to break it into thirds. Oh, this is sixty-six and two thirds. If you don't see it, let me show you. If I highlight this, this represents sixty-six and two third percent. So, one hundred twenty dollars. So we need to break one hundred twenty dollars into three sections. That's $40 for every 33 and one third percent. So if you have 66 and two third percent, then 40 plus two groups of it will be $80 saving. So if the entire bar di strip diagram represents $255, the price of a digital video player, how much is each 10% worth? So we have $255. We need to divide it into 10 equal sections so we can figure out 10%. That would be 10 goes into 25, two groups. 10 goes into 55, five groups. To get rid of this remainder, you annex a decimal zero. 10 goes into 55 sections. So that means each 10% is $25.50. I'm going to stop right now because I don't really feel like writing $25.50 in each 10%. I get the point. What is 40% of $255? Well, 10, 10, 10, that's four groups of $25.50. So what is four groups of $25.50? Zero. Five times four is 20. Carry to two. Five times four is 20 plus two is 22. Carry to two. Four times two is eight plus two. Two. So it's $102. What is 5% of $255? Well, 5% means you're just finding half of this. So what's half of $25.50? So let's divide it by 2 and find out. 2 goes in 25 12 times. Bring down the 5. 2 goes in 15 7 times. 2 goes in 10 5 times. So it's $12.75. What is 15% then of $255? So if you're going to save 15% off, that means you're going to save $25.50 for the first 10%. Then you're going to save $12.75 for the additional 5%. So that means you're going to be saving $25.50.
$38.25 if it's 15% off. And our last example, the cost of a meal is $24. You would like to leave a 15% tip. So what's 10% of $24? Let's think. If you have a bar, I'm going to break this into 10 equal sections. So each section, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, each section will be 10%. So I need to break $24 into 10 sections. And I said this one's 0. 10 goes on 40, 4 times. So that means it's $2.40. So every 10% is $2.40. So what's 5% then? Well, 5% is half a 10%. So half a 240 is $1.20. So that means 15% must be $3.60. How do I get that? Every 10% is 240. 5% is $1.20. Put them together. So the tip is 360. So what is the combined mill and tip? The mill is $24. The tip is 360. So the combined mill is $27.60. So that is how to find part of a number used mentally. Think of a percent bar represents 100%, and you're breaking into 10 sections for every 10%. Through that, you can find 10% of any dollar amount or any amount you have. And then you can build up to 20, 30, 40, 5%.